Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Robert Arrington. This is deer meat for dinner and the long wait is over. We got deer meat. That's a backstrap and it's a backstrap from a deer we got yesterday. Good friend of mine, Lee Lightsey, has a big farm out in Venus, Florida. And he invited me out. His daughter wanted to go deer hunting. She's just the cutest little thing in the world. She's 12 years old and her name is Reagan Lightsey. Lee was one of the guys who originally taught me how to gator hunt on public property. Uh, it was like 13, 14 years ago, he and Brad Gibson taught me some amazing stuff and that was the base of what I, you know, what I do now. Lee was a gator farmer, he farmed gators. Well, he sold that property and then bought this 1,400 acres out in, in Venus. And they were deer hunting and they were killing some deer and you know, it was a nice property for their family, but all their neighbors around them you know, if a little buck went over on their property, bow, it would kill it. And Lee really wanted to manage it and build it into something that was beautiful and had really nice mature deer. So he was like, heck, if all my deer keep leaving and getting shot, he put up a fence around it. So it's 1,400 acres over two square miles. And then they said, well, now let's start raising some deer because so many of the deer had been shot before they bought the property. And I'm here to tell you, yesterday was the first day I ever saw this place, but Lee and his family, his wife is named Tracy, she's awesome, and then his son Mason and their daughter Reagan, as a family, have built this property into an absolute, I don't even have the right word, but it is just gorgeous. And so, because they're raising deer to sort of populate the area, the deer that they've raised, they put a tag in the deer's ear. So hunters or friends or people know, don't shoot that deer. That deer has been raised and it's here to help populate the property. But they still have tons of wild native deer that were born and raised there and that were just from the natural gene pool. And so, systematically they're going through saying okay if the deer looks inbred or has a weird looking rack let's try to kill it out so that we can eat that deer and leave the younger bucks that have perfect beautiful genetics so that they can continue to grow and he doesn't come from like a deer farming background he's just a a guy who loves his land and takes very good care of it what he's done is he's created like a deer paradise. And now each year, they will understand what they have on their property, they'll understand what they wanna keep, and then they'll understand what they wanna to try to take out. Now mind you, these are wild deer, so it's not like, it's not like you can just walk out there and shoot them down. It's really amazing, and I was so honored yesterday to get to go out there. So, let's, uh, let's go out and go hunting with Reagan Lightsey right now. Loader, my little 50 caliber muzzle loader. They've got some awesome deer here, amazing deer. And uh, hopefully, we see some this afternoon.
beautiful bucks in here. As he was coming in, they took off. They were like, we're out of here. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't need to pull your hair. <laughs> this place is incredible. I mean, what an honor to get to come out here and hunt. So awesome. Deer down. Got that one. That was an awesome deer. And if you want to see the full skinning process, in the description below will be an unlisted video showing exactly how I skinned this deer. And it's unique because I wasn't able to hang it up. I just had to skin it out and take care of it on a table. So it might be a good, a good learning video for you. You might enjoy it. There is some blood. So I'm just letting you know. That is a big old beautiful back strap. And I don't need all of it because it's just Jake and I eating right now. So I will cut about that much off. This I will save. Now on your back strap, it's got this silver skin there that you want to try to cut off. And by doing that, I just cut down and cut across. You're just flaying it across just like, uh, just like it was a fish skin. Then if you have a dog like Tebow, he will be standing here going, okay, dad, do not throw any of that in the trash. I will gladly eat it. If somebody gives you deer meat or if you kill a deer and, and you want to eat it, make sure it has all of the silver skin off of it. And then this is my little garbage disposal. Ow, fool! That's my finger, not the deer meat. Easy. He chomped down on my finger just then. Now what we'll do is we'll just cut this into nice slices. Look how beautiful that meat is. Are you kidding me? Everglades cactus dust has a nice mesquite smoky flavor and it's going to go great with the dish that I'm making right now. And if you're looking for a knife that's great in the kitchen and in the field, wonderful boning, skinning, processing knife, the Silver Stag Woods and Water is my favorite. All right, so we have a pan with just about a tablespoon of oil. Take some of our deer meat. Then we will throw in some peppers, some garlic, some onion, and some portobello mushrooms. Add some more Everglades cactus stuff. So now we're going to take some scallion. And that's fresh basil. Last thing we're gonna do, everything's pretty much done. This is our sliced up, diced up basil and scallion. I just wanna put it in here to give that last little, little bit of flavor. And we're, we're not trying to cook it down, we just, that's all we need right there. That's plenty of time for it. Turn your heat off. You don't want to cook down that basil and scallion too much. Whew, that now. now we'll take out some of these pieces of deer meat. And you don't have to do this. I'm simply doing it because I want to. 
egg roll wrap. You find it in the produce section of your grocery store. So what I did is I just took my knife and I cut these into like dices and then instead of trying to pick through, I'll just take a little dollop of it like that right there. Then you get a little bit of everything. It seems to be much better like that. I mean, this is the type thing that the more you do it, the better you become at it. And the better you become at something, the more you enjoy it. That's what you're looking for. That's that's the that's what you want it to look like right there. Now let's see if we can repeat that one more time. I'm, I know y'all are gonna want to know how long this takes. So here's my stopwatch. Start. Let's drop them in and see how long it takes. This is a, about a medium high heat, medium to medium high. And uh, check back in just a second. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, so basically four minutes. Yeah, four minutes and they are golden brown. And that's more of a medium heat, not so much medium high. Turn off your heat. And all I'm using is a pan. That's some vegetable oil with a couple inches of oil. Do not bite into one of these right after it comes out of the grease because you will smoke your mouth. Now, one of my great friends Brenda and Marlon Courthouse. Actually, the first date me and Sarah ever went on was to their house. And they know that I love this stuff. And they just sent me two bottles. So Marlon and Brenda Courthouse and Cody and Jody, we love you guys. And I can't wait to come visit. This is called Wildfire Citrus Lime Vinaigrette. We're, I don't even know where you get it, but holy macaroni, it's good. And I got a feeling it's going to be amazing on these egg rolls. Egg roll. Okay. You got to see that, y'all. That is some love and goodness. Actually, I don't even want any sauce. I just want to taste it. No sauce needed. That is so full of flavor. The pepper, the portobello mushroom, the garlic, the deer meat just comes to light. Mm. Oh, and the basil. I'm getting basil. You gotta try this. I'm just telling you. You could take any, you literally, you could take just scraps, trim it up so that you don't have any silver skin, cook it down with all those ingredients, and just let it cook and cook and cook until it becomes real tender. Put it in an egg roll, wrap it up and fry it. Tracy and Lee, Reagan, Mason. It was a lot of fun coming out, hanging out with y'all and uh, getting to be a part of the hunt. Everybody, this, this is what hunting is. It's about friendship and fellowship and camaraderie and the outdoors and hard work and persistence and patience and marksmanship. That's what hunting is. It's not just about going out and killing something. The death of the animal is like the saddest part, but it's such a gratifying moment when you can enjoy the food and reflect on the hunt. So I hope you understand that that's, that's what I'm all about. That's what deer meat for dinner is all about. And that's what real hunters are really all about. So to all the hunters out there, I salute you. 
and I hope you have a wonderful deer season. It's November and it's time to hunt. Love each and every one of y'all. Give this a try. It's amazing. But uh, that's all I got. I... That's all I got for you today. I'm gone.